Hi, my name is Brittany, and I did my project on Catherine Beecher. So Catherine was born on September 6th in the year of 1800 in East Hampton, New York. She was fortunate enough to grow up in a very wealthy and prominent family who was very respected. And she was the oldest of the children in her family. Her father, Lyman, was a Presbyterian preacher, and her mother's name was Roxana. Catherine was educated at home until her family moved to Connecticut when she was about 10 years old. At this time, she attended the Litchfield Female Academy, which was a private school for young women. And as a lot of you guys know already, at this time in history, education was very limited for women. But through self-study, Catherine was able to educate herself on these subjects that were not offered in her private school. And I think this is really neat because it, it shows her love and her dedication for learning. Unfortunately, though, when Catherine was 16 years old, her mother passed away. And as you can imagine, their family was just completely devastated. But Catherine did proceed to take care of her siblings and perform the duties of a mother. She really took on the role as a nurturer for her family. Um, the younger children really looked up to her and admired her for this and also really enriched her relationship with her father. Um, during Catherine's teen years, she began writing poems and ballads, but she would sign them under the anonymous initials of CDD. And many of them were published, and they eventually caught the attention of a Yale College professor whose name was Alexander Fisher. And Alexander did discover who this mysterious poet was, and the two eventually um, began a relationship together, and they were engaged uh, shortly after. Unfortunately, Catherine's new fiancé, Alexander, was killed in a shipwreck on his way home from Europe. So um, as a result, to really cope with this sorrow that Catherine had, she decided to devote her time and energy towards education. Um, in that very year, Catherine and her sister Mary established a private school for young women in Connecticut, and that school is called the Hartford Female Seminary. Catherine worked at this school for about eight years, and then she decided uh, to move west because she wanted to expand opportunities to other young ladies. And so she started additional schools in Cincinnati, Iowa, Illinois, and Wisconsin. Um, it's kind of interesting because Catherine never was married. She never did have children of her own, but she still did dedicate her life to promoting change and to really um, promoting her ideas. And um, in, in 1878, Catherine died at the age of 77 from a possible stroke. So that's just a little bit about Catherine and her, her life. And the contributions made by Catherine Beecher really are endless in my opinion. She was able to influence individuals all over the nation throughout her publications. Um, in 1842, Catherine wrote a treatise on dom domestic economy for the use of young ladies at home and at school. And basically, this book just discusses the undervalued significance of a woman's role in society. And Catherine expresses that the true and divine responsibility of a woman lies within the home, and that education is necessary um, in, order for, in order to raise a family. And she writes concerning women, they are agents in accomplishing the greatest work that ever was committed to human responsibility. And that is something that she wrote in that book. Um, and I really liked that. And a few years later, Catherine published The Duty of American Women to Their Country. And this pretty much claimed that men and women uh, should both be granted a free and fair education. And um, Catherine really was important because she was a writer that reached a large audience over a long span of time. And um, Catherine was greatly influenced by her former teacher, whose name was Sarah Pierce. And she was her teacher back in Connecticut when she was in her teenage years. And Sarah held a firm belief that all men and women were equal. And this is something that really was thought to have inspired a lot of Catherine's ideas and beliefs. Catherine really argued that women and men both had um, equal, equally important roles in society. However, she did feel that these roles should be kept entirely separate from one another. So, for example, Catherine acknowledged that women simply should not become involved in politics at all. She believed that was something that men should just take care of and women should stay out of. Um, however, she did believe that a woman's obligation was to nurture and educate the children, which would in turn influence the public in the future. So that was kind of her thoughts on that. Um, at the time, the job of a teacher was thought to be merely a man's job. And according to Catherine, though, uh, women were naturally suited to be educators. Um, Catherine believed that a woman's natural ability to nurture made her ideal for the job. 
and she's really succeeded in discovering a respectable and proper place of employment for women, not only for her day, but also for our day. And Catherine was extremely passionate in her belief that students needed to be knowledgeable in both academics and domestic skills, which, we, which would be known as family and consumer sciences today. And according um, to a professor, he said that Catherine pioneered uh, domestics, which is now known as family and consumer sciences. So she was dedicated in teaching her students drawing and painting, cooking, um, along with academic curriculum. So um, Catherine also displayed a sincere concern for health of these young ladies. So she really informed these girls that their tight corsets and their inadequate diets were really just destroying their health. And um, she was a very strong advocate to incorporate physical education into the female schools. And so, um, anyway, she made a huge contribution to that even today. And Catherine truly is an inspiration. I am so impressed with her willingness and encouraged to promote her own ideas of women's role in society. Um, her ideas about equal education opportunities were certainly not the conventional, conventional viewpoint at this time in history. And um, she made such an impact through her published works as well as through the establishment of her own private schoolhouses all over the nation. And um, she was very well educated and wise. And in my eyes, I admire the influence she made on the educational system, even after all these years. She greatly contributed to the family and consumer science programs that we have today, as long as the physical education. And she held such a passion for teaching, which is something I hope I can share in common with her someday. And her confidence and devotion to education program will honestly live on forever.